What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, Damn D, POV, and we are back with some very disturbing news. Um, Y'all probably noticed by now there was a shooting uh, in New York subway. There was a shooting in the New York subway yesterday. Um, it looks like at least 13 people were shot, hurt in the NYC subway. Man was wearing a mask and constructive vest. We do want to bring you back to some breaking news that we have coming out of Brooklyn, New York, uh, that we do want to bring to you. NYPD, mm. we are learning, uh, is on the scene of a report. Oh, man, here we go again. A possible explosion inside why? of a Brooklyn subway station. So, again, this Just is why? a shooting and an explosion inside of a brooklyn subway station you can see uh, this is a live feed coming in from our fox 5 new york team uh, with multiple oh, man. Boy, boy, boy. on the scene we do want to let you know exactly where this is uh, this is the subway station in sunset park brooklyn so again there are unconfirmed reports of an explosion along with several people shot we do know several ambulances and again uh, I, I, you know the scene as well uh, this is at the fourth one things one thing that i don't understand about these random shootings is like why shoot random people like what i, I don't i don't understand like why why do you want to hurt innocent people you know what i mean like for what if if you are so unhappy about your life take your own life if if you are so unhappy Take your own life and get it over with. You know, like why involve other people? You know, I just want to say our sources are coming in with more information and uh, we have sources that say uh, what we do know is that the suspect is a male, about 185 pounds, last seen wearing a gas mask. I know Robert Moses has just mentioned that. Uh, this individual was also wearing an orange construction suit, um, throwing a device which then put out some sort of smoke screen and then resulted in shrapnel. Uh, so wow. far, we know also, uh, according to our sources is that five people were injured all on the N train and as we also know like that that's some call of duty type stuff right there like that's some that's literally like some call of duty type nonsense sunset park so obviously there's more information coming in as we're trying to man the controls uh, behind me you can see all right so it looks like they may have identified the man and guess who it is Guess who that man is allegedly going to be? Shop your way. We Come offer on. a complete omni-channel shopping experience. You can find us online. The renter of this U-Haul in Philadelphia is a Frank R. James, male 62 years old. With 62 years old? This is in Wisconsin and Philadelphia. Plus, breaking news. The man police are looking for tonight after an attack on a New York City subway has connections to Wisconsin. And that is where we begin tonight at 9. This is the person of interest. Wow. Really, bruh? Really, bruh? <sighs> Just had to be one of us, huh? It just had to be one of us. We don't do stuff like this, bro. What is you doing? In today's New York City subway attack, and he may have left Milwaukee just a few weeks ago. Ten people were shot this morning on a Brooklyn subway. Thirteen others were injured. Cassie Williams is here in studio. Cassie, you've been looking more about the person of interest. What have you learned? New York City police identified the person of interest as 62-year-old Frank James. 62 years old. Bro, what is wrong with these old black men these days, bro? What is seriously wrong with these old black men these days? Man, y'all, y'all, y'all old black men are supposed to be our OGs. Y'all supposed to be people that we get advice from, mentors. Y'all old niggas acting worse than these young niggas. What is, what is wrong with you old black niggas, man? Y'all 
Y'all need to get y'all stuff together, man. Y'all making, man, y'all pathetic, bro. We got old niggas on the internet doing the most. We got old niggas in real life doing the most. Like, what? what is this, bro? Man, y'all pathetic, man. And released this photo. It appears to be a screenshot from a YouTube video where James is leaving Milwaukee for Philadelphia. He makes it clear he doesn't plan to come back to Wisconsin. All I can say is, good riddance. <laughs> He's laughing? Bro, what is you la What the f- And I will never be back again to life to that <laughs> You can keep that The video was posted March 20th. In it, he talks about having post-traumatic stress disorder, but doesn't make it clear from exactly what, only saying bad things happened in his life. In the video, James talks quite a bit about the war in Ukraine and mentions the people of Milwaukee when discussing sanctions on Russia. And I'm so glad. Man, I'm so glad. You know, um, and especially looking at the attitude of white people, especially where I was at in Milwaukee. Oh, my God. Them the video at times can be hard to understand. New York. I don't know what to say. Um, I don't know if people... Hopefully nobody died. I know that they said that they were injuries. Hopefully nobody passed away. Hopefully everybody's still alive. This this is I don't I'm lost for words, bro. These old y'all old niggas is weird these days. That's all I gotta say. Y'all y'all pathetic, bro. You old niggas is, I'm sorry. I'm just saying, I'm, I'm going to say it, bro. Y'all old men are a disgrace. The way y'all are conducting yourselves these days, it's sad. A 62-year-old man going in the subway, smoke bombing, and then just shooting random people. Old men on the internet trolling, saying they going to do that. Man, I'm out of here, y'all. I'm I'm done with you niggas, man. I'm done.